my channel and hello if you are new. My name is Stephanie and I do plus size fashion videos, beauty videos, lifestyle and vlogging here on my channel. So if you like what you see, I'd love for you to hit the subscribe button and if you want to be notified every time I upload a new video, click the little bell next to it. That way your post notifications are turned on and you will not miss another video from me. So today I have another worth the hype video for you guys. I was recently contacted by the company Rose Gal to do a review on some of the products. So I went ahead and picked out some things from their website and wanted to show you guys what's worth the hype, what's not. I see a lot of plus size beauty influencers, not only plus size, but also just regular size girls here on YouTube and other YouTubers reviewing Rose Gal. Some of them say they love it. And I'm here today to show you guys some of the things that are really, really good and some things that I don't think are worth your time if you want to shop on these websites. But just some background knowledge on the Rose Gal Company. It is an Asian website, so whenever you order something on there from like clothing to swimsuits, you want to make sure that you're always sizing up um, because Asian sizes are different than US sizes and etc, etc. So I picked out a lot of accessories in this video. I also picked out a few clothing pieces for you guys and I'm going to, I think I'm going to try them on and show you except for one of them I'm not going to try on and show you because it's a swimsuit and it just is a no-go. So everything that I got in this video will be all linked down below in case you guys want to get any of these items. And even though these items were sent to me to review uh, for you guys, I'm still going to give my honest opinion on them. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything, make it seem like everything's fantastic. If I don't like something, I don't like something, and I'm not going to lie to you guys about it. So um, I picked up a few things, so let's go ahead and get into the three clothing pieces first, and then I'll go into all the accessories. Right off the bat, I see a lot of people do swimsuit rose gal hauls and I was like, okay, I kind of want to try some of these swimsuits from Rose Gal. They have a really, really cute one. So the one I decided to pick was something different that I would never get, but I wanted to kind of step outside my comfort zone. So the swimsuit that I got is this palm tree green and white pattern, uh, kind of palm tree pattern swimsuit. It looks like this. It has the bandeau top. And um, I got this in a 2XL. All the clothing I got in a 2XL. I went off the size charts that are on the website, so... Um, just be kind of aware of that. So it is a really thin strap in the back, which I hate because then all my back fat like kind of just hangs over it and it doesn't look nice at all. The clasp here is just really, really cheap. It It's just going to slide out. Like I couldn't imagine like being on the beach and just like running and it will slip right out. So keep that in mind if you were to get this sim swimsuit. If you have bigger chest area like I do, I'm like about a 40 double D, so if you have a bigger chest like me, this probably will not work for you because look at how small the cups are. It's just too small, it doesn't fit me. And in the inside, if you guys can tell here, there is some padding here, so it does give you a nice support kind of lift and there is wire here at the bottom. Overall, the quality of the swimsuit is fine. It's just that it doesn't fit me um, on the top at all, so that I can't even make that work. Um, and then the matching bottoms to it are high-waisted, and they look like this. Again, they're just the green kind of palm tree print, like this. Really, really nice. These fit me fine. They were a little bit lower than I usually like and I don't really have a long torso or anything like that so if you do have a long torso I don't know how well these are going to work for you um, but it's all kind of preference and how you like to wear your swimsuits. I like my high-waisted to be like just above my belly button and this was kind of like mid belly button so keep that in mind. Um, I think I am I'm not going to keep this swimsuit, so I am going to put this on my Poshmark. I will leave my Poshmark name down below in case you really like this swimsuit and you think it's going to work for you. I will have this suit on my Poshmark. It will be way less than what um, it retails for, so if you guys want to check that out, uh, it will be down below. Next thing that I got was a shirt, and I just kind of wanted to show you how the clothing pieces, all the ones that I got, were packaged in these kind of Ziploc bags, like this one. So just wanted to show you how it's packaged in case you were curious. So this top I saw online and I got this in a 2XL as well and this was really really pretty on the website but then when I got it I was kind of, well not kind of, I am disappointed in it. So it has these adjustable strap shoulders here. It's white, it's really really flowy, sheer top, um, it has these sleeves that kind of tie and then it has the stretchy elastic band here to kind of be off the shoulder. And it's just kind of a really long shirt. Like on me, it's really long, and I'm only 5'2", so I don't know. if Maybe if you're taller, this might work for you, but it's just too long for me. Um, 
And the thing I don't like about this is you guys will see when I try it on that these straps, like they're here, but they're kind of like useless because this off the shoulder part on the band just is like literally up here. And then, well, you guys will see it. And it just, it doesn't work. Like these straps are pointless. I feel like it would be better if they didn't have these straps on it. So I might maybe just cut these straps off and just kind of leave it like this because I just feel like they're pointless. I don't know. I'll try to find a way to make it work because I really do like the top. The overall quality of it is fairly nice. Um, something you'd probably find at like Forever 21. Uh, so yeah, I really, really like this top. This would probably be a uh, salvageable piece that I got from Rose Gal. So the next thing that I got is a dress and it's another off the shoulder style dress. I really, really like these styles if you haven't noticed. Um, so it is this off the shoulder dress and it has these two tie ups here so it goes around your neck. You guys will see when I try it on. It has these really kind of nice bell sleeves in a way. They're not too much of a bell sleeve but they're nice. They're like a good bell sleeve because I don't really care for the bell sleeve trend but I really liked this dress and again it cinches in at the waist and it comes down it is really short so I don't know if I'd get away with wearing this as a dress because it's just way too short um, and it is very sheer so I don't know if you guys can tell do it this way you guys can probably see right through it so it is very sheer so if you do order this just be aware of that maybe size up even bigger so that it does fit a little bit longer um because I probably would have just sized up to like a 3x and it would have probably would have been a little bit longer but I really really like those two pieces it's just the swimsuit was just not a not a no-go for me moving on to all the accessories that I got the first thing I wanted to show you was I wanted to pick out something that I don't see a lot of people talk about when they do rose gal hauls and that is a handbag so I went ahead and saw this bag on the website it looks very very similar to the Michael Kor bag and um, I really like it it doesn't say Michael Kors it says something I don't even know what it says but looks like that I really, really like this color for the fall time I think it's really really pretty it has the two handles here and then this is the inside of the bag, so you have that middle compartment here that opens up, functional zipper. And then also you get the straps to the bag, so you can go ahead and strap it onto these little loops here. The overall quality of this bag, I was really, really impressed with this. Um, I think it is a really nice quality bag. It's sturdy, um, it's it's small. I think this would be a really good bag for going out. It's just really small and it, it's just really cute. I really am impressed with the quality of this and I would order another handbag from Rose Gal because I just, I just really think this is really nice and cute. And yeah, so I really like this. So the next accessory that I got were a pair of sunglasses because you can never go wrong with sunglasses. And I got these kind of mirrored, like metallic sunglasses. These, um, are like very Instagram-y sunglasses I feel like so these are what they look like I think they're really really cute I like them they're different they're nothing that I have in my collection and I think they're just so cute and delicate and I really really like these sunglasses they're not really like a cheap sunglass they have actual weight to them so I think that you can't go wrong with sunglasses on these websites. Um, I'm not someone who likes to spend a lot of money on sunglasses. Looking for inexpensive sunglasses, definitely check out Rose Gal because they have plenty to choose from. The next thing that I got are some makeup brushes and I haven't really opened any of these up so this is kind of going to be first reaction, impression of these brushes. For a set of brushes, they have a ton of sets of makeup brushes on there. So I just got these ones, basic, plain ones, so I just wanted to see. So right off the bat, I'm just opening the one that was sticking out to me the most. They were all individually packaged in their own. So I don't know if you guys can see, I don't know if this is going to show it, the little hairs that are already sticking out of the brush. The bristles are really, really soft. I think this is going to be a really good crease brush. Um, but the only thing is there's like little hairs that are like uneven sticking out. So I might just have to trim those. Um, these just seem like good, you know, basically just little cheap brushes if you want to, you know, start getting into makeup and you don't want to spend a lot of money. These are just like your basic little starters. And I figured, you know, these are just like a few time uses and then you'd probably throw them out. But they're decent quality. Um, nothing like, you know, it's not like it's a MAC brush or a Sigma brush. But for the prices, um, I really do like these. And... I'll definitely get use out of them. The next few things that I have are all accessory jewelry pieces. So the first one are these red kind of frilly fringe uh, earrings. And I really, really like this trend in the summer. I just think it looks very tropical. 
I don't know, I really, really like these ones. However, they are very just like kind of plasticky, cheap costume jewelry, so don't expect anything too fancy. Um, I don't mind because I kind of like these like trendy pieces, and if you can get them for inexpensively, then it's great. Um, I really, really like these. They're cute, but just keep in mind that they are a little bit like plastic feeling, so... Just keep that in mind. Okay, so the next thing that I got here is actually something that I got for my mom. She wanted to get this, and it is just a gold necklace. So she wanted this gold necklace, and it just kind of is like a layered necklace. It looks really, really cute. I love this, like, gold trend. We've been really into gold lately. It's just a very, very cute necklace. It kind of sits higher up on the neck, kind of like a choker, but not really. And it's just really, really cute. Very impressed with the quality. Again, just really cute pieces of jewelry that you can find on Rose Gal. It's like, literally, I look at the jewelry constantly because I just really do like their jewelry pieces. So the next item that I got has to be one of my my favorite pieces that I got from Rose Gal and this is a statement necklace it looks like this how beautiful is this it's kind of on this like rope material um, and it is a heavy duty it's pretty heavy like it's a heavy necklace I just think this is so pretty it's very very glamorous it, it looks expensive even though it wasn't and you can pair this with any outfit casual to make it a little bit dressier pair it with dresses it's just really really pretty I like this like dark blue and ice blue it's gonna be perfect for the winter time and I, I just really really like this piece a lot so the next item that I got is a choker and it looks like this it's just a really blingy choker these are so Instagram right now it has a long piece that kind of comes down into a V so it's a choker and then it has a longer section this looks so cute when you have like an open v-neck and you have like this really pretty choker it's just really really sparkly you have the chain coming down it's just very sparkly and expensive looking and that's what i love about rose gals jewelry is that a lot of it's kind of like unique pieces you don't really see them everywhere i do have a wider neck being plus size so i do have to get some like adjust adjustable clasps to make this chain a little bit longer because it is short so just keep that in mind if you are plus size and you have a thicker neck this you will probably have to get those uh, necklace extenders to um, extend the choker so that it fits a plus size neck but I really really like this so there's nothing I don't mind spending a few bucks on getting some adjustable clasps to make this work so I really really like that. The last that. thing that I got which is my favorite is this dainty necklace because I love tiny delicate necklaces I just I just love how they look so this one was so cute because it has a heart and then it has like the little heartbeat and it has a dog paw and I just love this because if you guys know if you follow me on snapchat I'm always posting about my dog because I love him so so much and little Bubba he's so cute if you guys follow me on snapchat you guys know I'm obsessed but um it is just a rose gold necklace super dainty really really cute I just love throwing these on I think they like add kind of a nice casual feel to any outfit it just looks really really cute and put together so I love this because it has a dog paw on it so when I saw it I was like I have to get it so that completes everything from my rose gal haul I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope this video was helpful for those of you who are kind of iffy about trying rose gal definitely make sure that you read the size charts um, I think that sometimes with some of the closing pieces and the swimsuits you just kind of have to you know wing it and if you're not a person that likes to wing it then I definitely wouldn't recommend ordering some of the clothing pieces from there but if you really are into accessories for a really low price definitely check out Rose Gal their jewelry section is like my favorite um, I think I might do some other orders from them just to kind of try out more stuff from them so if you guys want to see more Rose Gal hauls from me trying out different things um, let me know give this video a thumbs up and in the comments if I do another Rose Gal video what products do you want me to try out from the website that other people have talked about or just ones that you're curious about because I love trying new stuff for you guys and letting you know what I think so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I have done other worth the hype videos they will be all linked down below for you guys to watch I did a video about Fashion Nova so if you're interested in that it will be linked down below and that is pretty much it as always everything will be linked down below in case you guys want to check out some of these pieces for yourself follow me on all my social media sites Twitter Instagram and snapchat and I think that is pretty much it Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see all your beautiful faces in my next video.